all right, take 900. So I saw this, I saw a video on my feed of this YouTuber who reacted to a teenager intentionally crashing a train for views on YouTube. In my years of being on YouTube, I can tell you that people have done the craziest things for views on this platform and for what to cost them their life or cost someone else's their life, cost someone to get hurt and so on and so forth. And I hope this guy is in deep, deep, deep doo-doo because isn't it a federal crime to tamper with railroad property to tamper with railroad equipment and especially derailing a train you know so it looks like for context there was this faulty car sitting on a siding or the depot or whatever and he lined the the train the, the tracks up so the train would hit that car. So here's the video right here. I'm going to react to it and I have it downloaded in case YouTube deletes it. You know, maybe some more information comes forward and I can make a follow up video. Then I'll have this to reference and then the information that we have and, and stuff like that. But it makes me wonder why can't y'all just do normal ass stuff if y'all want views? Like if this guy wanted to create train crashes why not buy train sim later train sim world mod the game and then crash trains and then teach people how to do it for their games or something like that why are you messing with real stuff like why are you trying why are you crashing a real train bro so i want to react to this video Okay. Oh my god! Oh my god! And it, it hits the oh car. Oh my freaking god! I don't know what you hollering for. You did this, or uh, supposedly I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't know how much information is out that I just missed. You know, I downloaded this video just in case YouTube takes it down, and then more information comes forward, and I can make a follow-up video and say, "Hey, in case you don't know," and then refresh people or brief new viewer and so on. Oh my god, are they okay? Oh my god. Imagine imagine almost um unaliving somebody for Brownie Pones on the internet. And look at how many views he got on this video. And what was it for? You can't monetize because you need for because you need um a thousand subscribers and the required watch hours assuming money was this guy's intention i'm like why why break youtube's rules for brownie points because then you don't need it for nothing because you want to do this for brownie points and then youtube says no thank you because your content violate their rules I don't, I don't get it and it let the train came around a curve it looks like it because it's hard to tell from this point if you look at the train the train come around the curve that's even more dangerous because the engineer cannot see what's around the curve that's that's what makes it even more dangerous and, and, and such oh my god oh my god oh my freaking god oh my god are they okay Oh my god. Okay, so this Arbor just hit a defective car, apparently, and is now on the ground. Badly. I don't know. It looks like the conductor is investigating and notice he's standing a good distance away. So that conductor won't suspect him or question him. Be like, hey, do you know anything about this? Um, this is something I noticed. switch was thrown wrong it looks like they hit a derail or something 
Uh, can you explain to me what's a derail? Um, you can see the wheel is not on the track there. If you look here, I'm at, you know, imagine if this was a tanker and it was carrying something flammable and the results were bad. And they not only would the train crew be at risk, but the neighborhood. Um, I don't know anything about law, but wouldn't this be domestic terrorism? Because imagine if the train was carrying something flammable and the derailment was really bad and people got hurt. And then, you know, others be at risk. Not only would the crew be at risk, but other folks. So we're committing terrorism for views on YouTube, you guys. Like, why can't people do normal ass stuff for views on YouTube? And then just plowed right in. Okay, that's all. That's enough. Okay, that's enough. So this video looked like it was posted on April of this year. So it was posted earlier this year. So I assume upon this happening, BNSF opened up an investigation. And then likely they had enough evidence to point towards this guy. I'm just going off of this video and a couple of reactions I saw. So I wonder, did BNSF press charges against that guy? Did they figure out it was this guy? Did they press charges? You know, take him to court. What What's going on? Because I just, because I just, I saw, like I said, I just saw the video in my feed. I just saw this video here in my feed on YouTube. So I'm like, I'm, I'm just guessing. I'm just talking out of my ass here that perhaps BNSF likely had enough information to come forward and say, you know what? We suspect that it was this guy that, you know, they probably had CCTV footage of the depot or the yard, wherever they are. They probably had CCTV footage. Maybe a witness called him in. Uh, you know, I'm not entirely sure. You know, like I said, I did download this video just in case YouTube takes it down and then more information comes forward. Like I say, hey, guys, here's a refresher, blah, 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 blah. Like I said earlier. This here is the reason why some railroad employees don't like rail fans because people like this dude tampering with railroad property where they equipment like the switches and such cause a derailment and then something bad happens or could have happened now, originally, when I saw the video that brought this to my attention, I thought this was about Sebastian DeYoung. I saw some videos about him two years ago flipping switches on BNSF and then he climbed onto the into the cab and messed with some stuff I don't remember it's been a while you can search Sebastian DeYoung on YouTube and there should be some information available for you then when I watched the video I'm like now this dude makes Sebastian DeYoung I don't know about Sebastian DeYoung because I'm one in the real fan space as long as y'all but based on what I have seen with my short time entering the rail fan sphere. So yeah, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. And maybe fill me in a little bit more. Did the guy get caught? Has he been arrested yet? Because I hope he's been arrested. 
And the fact that he's posting these videos on YouTube, he's just giving the court so whoever more evidence because he did upload some more videos after this. Giving BNSF more evidence. Yeah, smart move. Very smart. And I don't I don't touch something that's not mine when I do not have permission permission to do so. But YouTube, y'all got to ban the content that y'all say goes against your rules, which this does go against your rules because you said that you can't participate in dangerous or illegal activities. And this is what this person is doing. So YouTube, own up to y'all word and remove this video and ban the channel because this guy don't represent real fans. Okay, let's close this video because I don't want it to be too long. You can leave your thoughts in the comments and I might make a short version of this on TikTok. I'm not entirely sure. I might make a more to the point version on TikTok. You know, like I said, and then if any additional information comes out, then I'll probably make a follow up video, you know, and then use this as a refresher. So I'll catch up.